Hey everyone, this is Derek here, and in this video we're going to be taking a look at a really cool trick brought to us by Phantom, who shows us how to more easily control that evil three-wheeled motorcycle. But before we get to that, a very exciting announcement. Mark your calendars, because in just about 12 hours from now, I am going to be doing a custom game live stream. So I know some of you guys have said the uh, past two days of live streaming that you didn't get the notification until I was done and uh, the notification didn't come at all, you guys missed it and you were really bummed, this is your chance. 8.30 p.m. Friday IST. So I know, uh, like I said, like in previous videos, about 60% of my viewership is from India. That is awesome. So I'm letting you know that it is 8.30. That should hopefully be after dinner, after school, after any obligation, so you guys can watch and have a great time and potentially play in the games too. So this is going to be the format, so it's 8.30 p.m. IST. Now, if you're in the States, uh, or if you're in Canada, I'm on uh, Eastern Time, and it's 11 a.m. for me. So that would be, three hours back, would be 8 o'clock a.m. for Pacific Time. And then, uh, depending on where else you are in the world, you'll just have to convert it from there. In Europe, I think, I'm going to get it wrong, but I think it's 3 p.m. maybe in Europe. I think it's 3 p.m. So anyways, you guys can help each other out in the comments if you have any questions, but that is when the live stream is going to start. It's going to go for about an hour and a half to two hours or so. The format is we're going to be playing two 100-player classic games, and then we're going to finish with the insanity of a 100-player crash the server all-weapons arcade mode match. Uh, and if you haven't liked and subscribed already, I definitely do that now for tons more PUBG Mobile content, including more live streams like this. I know that uh, some of you guys said you don't like them, but the vast majority, the overwhelming majority do, and I'm going to try to cater as much as I can to uh, everybody. So next, we're going to be talking about some options. So what sort of classic, so the arcade mode, we don't really have many options for that, but for the two classic matches, I'm going to create a poll. Uh, I think it'll be out by the time I upload this video or it'll be out in a couple minutes later, so just refresh and uh, you'll see it. But basically on my Discord in the custom rooms uh, text channel, I'm going to create three polls for you guys. So we have two classic games and I want to know what do you want to play. So the first poll is going to be solo, duo, or squad. And if one of them is like overwhelmingly the majority, let's say uh, solo is 300 people, duo is 300 people, squad is 2,000 people, then we're just going to play two squad games. But if we have something like uh, solo is 1,200, duo is 400, and squad is 1,600, we'll play one squad and then one solo. That way you guys uh, both get your voices heard and we'll do that. And uh, same deal for third-person perspective or first-person perspective. That's what TPP and FPP stand for. And then I think I spelled them right. Uh, we also have Urangel and Miramar. So, so far, every uh, live stream has been on Urangel. I don't mind doing that. Um, I also don't mind casting Miramar. It's kind of whatever you guys want to see. So, like I said, I'll, I'll leave a link to my Discord in the video description down below, just like I always do, and uh, head over there. And let your voices be heard for the next 12 hours or so leading up to this live stream. We're going to leave those polls up. We're going to get your guys' reactions. You can change your mind if you want to later. Uh, if you go to school, you think about it, and you're like, man, why did I make that choice? Then you can always come back and change it because up until 8.30 p.m. Uh, IST on Friday, you can switch it up, and we're going to use those to determine what we play on the live stream. So just wanted to get that out there. Like I said, I know a number of you have wanted to play these games, have wanted to join, and uh, this is this is what I'm going to be doing next. So there you go. So now we'll jump into this really cool three-wheeled motorcycle trick, and I'll see you guys there. All right, so here we go. We are now in training mode, and we have found one of those evil three-wheeled motorcycles. So first, I will attempt to drive it around and show you exactly why it is so awful. So the two-wheel motorcycle, uh, not not too terrible. I mean, it's you, you got to be careful of it, but you know, you can see immediately this thing is just out of control. I mean, yeah, I'm gonna try to drive it around in the circle here. You can see it is not turning very well at all. Let's see if it'll turn any better the other way. Once we get a, a turn there, you can see I'm jamming that turn button. It's not really going anywhere. Let's uh, go ahead and turn the airway. Now we are flipping it. it. Does turn better this way than the other way though. It does turn pretty decent to the right. But if you have to go back to the left now, you can see that it's just like, it's pretty hopeless. 
So as you can see, uh, we definitely, uh, yep, we definitely need to improve it. And how are we going to improve it, you may ask. How can this thing even be improved? Well, thanks to a tip from Phantom, you can actually improve it by breaking it. So I don't mean blowing it up, although that could also be a very, very viable way to just uh, improve its existence. But what we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and use the very, very underused crossbow. It doesn't matter what you're using, actually. I'm just using the crossbow for fun. You want to shoot out this wheel. So basically, shoot out that third wheel. So now you have a normal motorcycle. And uh, as you will see, with that third wheel gone, it's actually more controllable. Now it's by no means the easiest vehicle to control still, but you can see that it now turns a little bit better than it did. I mean, it, it used to be worse at turning, so it turns a little bit better to the left, and uh, we'll see if it turns any better to the, uh, the right. But like I said, it doesn't tend to flip over as much either. You can see I'm taking a little bit slower, so I might be slightly biased here uh, just to show that it is indeed better but I mean it tends not to flip as often and it tends to be just a little bit better at controlling so it's not you know by any means a like super super crazy difference but you can see we're, we're keeping it on the track I mean I said the lap time might be a little bit slower than I was doing the other time but it generally feels a little better like I said, definitely not a miracle, but uh, a little more controllable, and like I said, definitely less likely to flip, which is nice, because that's something that is uh, something that occurs quite often with this thing. Now, personal opinion, uh, a grenade is the best way to improve this, because then you can no longer drive it. But if you do have to drive one of these into the zone, I recommend popping that third tire, because it definitely doesn't seem to hurt, and it might just slightly improve the performance of the vehicle. So let me know uh, down below what you guys think. Let me know if you think this is helpful, if it actually does improve performance, or perhaps it is just the placebo effect, uh, making us think that the performance is better, but it's actually not. And either way, we have Phantom to uh, thank or blame for this. So uh, definitely, like I said, I'll, I'll see if I have his uh, Discord or his... I'm not really sure what I have to promote from him. It might just be his name, but uh, hey, there you go. So some recognition for sure for uh, sharing this with us, and I certainly appreciate it. So if you have a tip or trick that you want to share, uh, evil to curve too, um, definitely send it to DerekGReplays at gmail.com. I'll leave a link to that in the video description down below. And uh, again, get excited about that live stream. It's going to be in about... Uh, just under 12 hours from when I'm uploading this. It'll probably be about 11 and a half hours or so. So uh, let's see how many viewers we can get. We got 500 without, we almost fell through the map there. We got 500 viewers without even promoting it at all. So is 750 possible? I think it is. So again, 8.30 p.m. IST. I hope to see you guys there. Very excited to do this. And my name's Derek G. If you enjoyed the video, definitely give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends to help grow the channel. Invite them to the live stream too. And um, if you haven't subscribed already, definitely consider doing that for tons more PUBG Mobile content. So I hope to see you on the battlefield soon or in my Discord, which I'll also leave a link to down below.